Let us know when you jump on. Say hello. favorite scissors. Yeah. Hi, Teresa. How are you tonight? Hello. Again, my hair. Welcome to the New Year's show. Oh, yeah. This is the last one this year, right? Yeah. Judy Brennan, how are you? Hi, Judy. Karen, hi. Hi, Patsy. How are you? Hot and humid Mississippi. Nice. It's going to be cold here this week. Yep. Hey, Tom, how are you tonight? Hello. Janice, good evening. Carol, good evening. Hi, Cheryl, how are you? Kathy, welcome. Carla, welcome. Yeah, I hope everyone's enjoying their holiday as best as you can. Hopefully you got everything that you wanted for Christmas. The beach house or the uh, mountain home. You know, small Piper plane that you put on your list. Or maybe you just got some fabric. Fabric is Cold always good. and snowing hard in Michigan. Yeah, I've heard my parents are stranded in Washington right now. They can't get out for probably a week. Hi, Karen. How are you? Hi, Carol. Welcome. They might join us tonight. We can Hi, join. Diane. Hi, Luann. How are you? Hello. Uh, Louise, welcome. Is that Luann from Juki? Uh, Luann Anderson. Hi, Ann. How are you? Working on your stash still? Hi, Beverly. They broke a new record where she's at. So, what's the normal temperature supposed to be? We were one degree away from breaking a high. Today? No, what was yeah, it? Monday, or last week? Last week it was like 74 or 75, and the record was like 76. Hey, David, welcome to the show. Happy New Year to you as well. Happy New Year to everyone. This is the New Year's show. Happy New Year. Okay. We have announcements. It's supposed to normally be 50 there. Wow. <laughs> 78. That's a, that's a, a little, little off. A little more. That's some air conditioning weather for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, April. How are you? Welcome to the show. Okay. Well, let's get started. Well, who are we? <laughs> who are you? We are who Sewing are Machines you? Express, Windmill Sewing Center, and Quilters HQ. We The websites are... QHQ, the number two dot com, windmill sewing center dot com, and quilters HQ dot com. We have announcements. Let's surge one again. Class filled up last time, so don't wait to sign up. Should be on the uh, website for quilters HQ. Um, become friends with your serger. Make your own anatomy of the stitch binder, which is a, that's a cool reference tool. And it is $120 for eight classes. So it's not each, it's all eight classes. And that is January 8th through February 26th from 10.30 to 1.30 at Quilters HQ. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Carol. Hi, Francine. Welcome. So Happy New Year. Beginning quilting is being offered again. We don't have any signups right now, so it's not on the website. So if you're interested in a beginning quilting class that's the piecing give us a call and we're building a list of people that are interested beginning quilting this is with a walking foot and a domestic sewing machine learn how to make a quilt sandwich straight line quilting attaching binding and quilt labels that one is february 4th to february 25th cost is 60 dollars for four classes um, Hi, miranda kimberbell club so cute. I saw the sample for this. <laughs> so it cute. Cool. It says we're hooping down the bunny trail. <laughs> um, 
no dates. No dates yet, but look for that soon. I think that is on the website, on Windmill Sewing Center's website. Um, it's $25 for the class or $250 for the year. If you want to sign up for the year, give them a call at Windmill Sewing Center to sign up. Hey, Chloe, could you post the calendar for Windmill as well, please? Yep. For everybody. And that's it. Thursday, third Thursday this month, we're starting a new project for AccuQuilt in the AccuQuilt Go Club. So, Judy said January 15th for that Kimber Bell. January 15th is for the Kimber Bell. What's that? You got like a teaser there. What are you? This is. Diamonds. This is a, That's always a person's best friend. <laughs> Yes. Um, new trend. There you go. New trend. Um, this is a class that Vicky's going to teach at Quilters HQ. We don't have the dates finalized yet, but the, Hi, Jen. And the cost, Happy New Year. But this will be starting in January. So this was the first portion of the diamond that she did. This is from Hoop Sisters. That's really cool. It's very cool. It's all done in the hoop. So the quilting. Hi, so you Peggy. just got to put it back on it. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. Thanks for joining us. This is the New Year show since we won't be until 2022. We have three giveaways. this. Yeah, so we're going to do three giveaways tonight, which will be fun. Yep. Um, something everyone can use. Everyone. If you sew, you need it. Everyone already <laughs> loves it. So, and then we have new stuff to show you. New, new products. New products. Hi, Ruth. Fun how are stuff, you? too. So, stick with us. Hi, Nanita. So, tonight's block is this one. It's kind of a flower. Hi, Karen. The pattern is up on the website for you to download. The cost for the kit is $6.15. This is last week's block finished. I'm holding it up. That came out really cool. I know. I like it a lot. It's going to be a really pretty quilt. I love how the, the navy just pops and then next to this Hi, Debbie. Hi. lighter blue. Holly. Happy and we're New Year. introducing a new color. This, this is going to be our light red and it's going to go next to our dark red. It's a really good contrast. So let's get started. Pattern is front and back, so it's two page pattern. If you don't have an AccuQuilt, I included the template for this shape. The other shapes have the rotary cutting instructions. We are using dies number two from the cube, eight inch cube, 14 and 15 from eight inch angles. And we're also... Glue <laughs> juggling. <laughs> this is a new what sport. What are you on my shirt? <laughs> I don't know what happened. It's like when I turn 40, everything lands right here. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? So Good. this is a, a product that I like to use instead of pinning. It's seam aligned glue. Um, $7.99. A little bottle like this goes a long way. It's got this really thin applicator and just a drop will do for a long way. So I like to use this when I'm working on the bias, which we're going to be tonight. So let's get started. So our first one is... Okay, this is a good one to start with. 20 patches of your lightest fabric. So we're going to start from the salvage. So we need, so there's eight. And the pattern is up on the website. Chloe, would you post a link for yep. that, please? Thank and you. then, no, we need to start from this end. So, and it's on there pretty square. So there's eight, 16, and then I'm going to take one half of it and fold it over. I'm not going to do it this way. I'm going to do it this way because I need five layers. Hi, Donna. Welcome so to the show. One, Happy New Year. Two, three, four, and five. And then I'm just going to make sure my cutting is aligned with that die. Let's move it out a little bit. Hi, Joan. How are you? Couldn't find us on YouTube, huh? The YouTube. 
YouTube channel is Joan Sews. There's more stuff than just this up there. And you got to remember to click the little bell to get notified whenever get we notified when, yep, when whenever we push new content and you need to subscribe. Um, we do appreciate it. So. We do. Smash up that like button. Yep, smash the like button. Okay, so there's my 20 of that. And then I am going to skip down here and I'm going to cut these shapes out with this. And we need four patches of each one. So to cut these, you're just going to... Hi, Michelle. How are you? Hi, Amber. We did have a great Christmas. I hope everyone else had a great Christmas as well. Happy New Year. This is the New Year show. We won't be on again until 2022. 2022. Can you believe that? <laughs> so you're going to fold this over and fold it over again to get your four of each one. You don't have to worry about direction because it's going to just work. I want to make sure I get all of this in there. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. Okay, just checking my placement there. We're all good. And we're going to cut. So you'll want to follow the cutting instructions that we're doing right here. That will get you all of the pieces you need with Hi, the least Cindy. amount of fabric. Happy New Year. And there's your waist. There's those. Set those here. Is there someone that was telling us they were making some doll stuff out of this? Well, you could make dog, dog bed dog. stuffing. If oh. they're big enough pieces, you trim them and put your serger to work. So let's do the blue next because I like the blue. And so with this die, you need four of these shapes. So you're going to fold this in half. Hi, Karen. How are you? And to conserve fabric, we're going to start up here at the top. And we're going to keep it aligned and cut like this. So we're going to cut two. Hi, Debbie. Welcome to the show. Happy New Year. And hopefully that's working for you over on Facebook. And then we're going to rotate this fabric and do it again so that we're not using up more fabric than we need to because this little scrap you can use for something else. Cut out half square triangles or something like that. And there's my four pieces. And you got a pretty good size left. Okay. So we've cut those, we've cut those, and then we need 12 pieces of this one, so we just need to do three layers. The dancing diamond. Dancing diamond. Do, 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 dancing diamond. I got nothing. <laughs> that happens a lot <laughs> when I say stuff. <laughs> and then we need 16 of this one. And there wasn't quite enough to do four in a single um, with the fabric. So you ended up, I'm just going to fold this in half. With a larger piece. But that's okay. We love scraps. <laughs> well, thank you, Debbie. She loved that green dancing diamond. <laughs> Come sign oh. up for the class. I wonder if that, if we could turn that into like an emerald. An emerald. That makes more sense than a dancing diamond. Hi, Corinne. How are you? Happy New Year. This is the New Year's show. I can't believe it's going to be 2022. I need to do some die maintenance here. If you see, my stuff is sticking because I need to... Um... Hi, Amy. How are you? Welcome to the show. 
what happens, you need to get your die pick out because little strings get caught down in there and then it doesn't completely cut. But we're not gonna do that right now. So we're done cutting. I need that. Let's move this out of the way. So we can have some more space and lay out a little bit. So we're gonna do a quarter of this block. So we need one of these. one of each of these and they go like this. Once she gets it all lined up, I'll take an overview shot. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Oh, Ruth's got the first block made, all right. Good. What'd you think? It's pretty cool. It's a pretty, it's gonna be a really pretty quilt. I think so too. We still got seats open too, if people want kits. Hmm. Nope, this goes here. Very good. Maybe we need an emoji of the mug. Okay. This one should be a cocktail because it's New Year's. Okay. Toasting. So we need an emoji of the month. Everybody post an emoji. Okay. Do your straight down shot. All right. So we are ready. Yeah, go slow so you don't make them seasick. Welcome, Nina. Happy New Year to you as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you this glue, and it it really doesn't take a lot, and you can see it has a really small point on it. And so I'm just going to go little tiny dots. Hi, Carrie. Up the side Tom, of this. I like the three martinis. I like the... Like a umbrella drink there, pretty nice. There you go. And so it's got these little dots, so you can kind of see where a it's square darker. Headed chicken. <laughs> a squid and a chicken. A square headed chicken. A square headed chicken. That's awesome. So I'm just gonna put this under the iron real quick and heat set it for like two seconds. I and then drink. we're gonna sew this. I really like this product when I'm working with um, anything on the bias. And when I glue, I can sew like that. I need our multifunction. Okay. Maureen, that's nice. You got the party. Okay. Karen has got the full stocked bar going on there. Nice. Joan's got the smiley face with the hearts. Beautiful. Let's do this other side. And I'm just... Needle and thread, Jerry. There you go. Tapping along with this glue. Here. Now, the glue's pretty cool. The glue is really Let me cool. Get back over here, guys. Sorry. Falling down here with this whole emoji hunt. It does add a little bit of a step to... Um, hold it in place but with this die it's worth the extra effort and this is seam align this is one ounce it's 7.99 it goes a long long way last a long time yeah and it doesn't really dry out let me just set the iron on this real quick so uh, a question while you're doing that carlo was asking do you always heat set that glue i do okay because i want to sew immediately um does not add that much time to your sewing to do it this way because once you have it nice. set like that, you can just zip right through it and then look how perfectly square 
this turns out with the glue and how nice and even my sides are right here. Let me get a shot of that, huh? Okay. Let me trim my wayward thread there. Sorry. I'll quit moving it. <laughs> and so that's going to go right there. So. Questions about the there, seam line. There was a question about the seam line and does it gum up the needle? It does not. And you use just tiny, tiny dots. So when you're using it, when you're using it, you're just literally going like this. Just a quick Just dot. a quick dot and then move on. Yeah, I mean, there are some that do gum up, like Terry Magic and stuff like that. Like, yeah. the guys would say, you know, hey, you got pretty gummed up. Yep. We do hear it from the text every once in a while. This hasn't. I haven't had any trouble, and I've used it quite a bit. We did a project in our AccuQuilt Club that had a lot of these shapes, and it was fine. Um, Vicki... Has even started doing her half square triangles with it. <laughs> she, she put the frozen face <laughs> emoji. <laughs> okay. Let's piece those two together. And I'll do an overview shot of the block before you once you yep. get a piece together there. So. What do you guys normally do for New Year's Eve? I think what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna make homemade tacos together. Probably watch a movie or something. Yeah. That's gonna be our New Year's Eve. We were gonna go eat dinner, but I don't think it's, we can't get anywhere, so. Yeah, I don't like being out on the streets on New Year's because, you know, people drink and drive and it's just nice. not safe. Sleep. That's some good ones right there, too. Sleep sounds good. Game night at home. My board game. Hi, Carol. How are you tonight? Yeah, so we're going to make these homemade tacos. That sounds delightful. We uh, actually took a class with a chef through um, Zoom. It was fun. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. There was a lot of people on there. Did your foot pedal run away? No. Did your shoe fall off? <laughs> it flipped <laughs> over. Hey, Linda. Happy New Year. Welcome. Dinner and cards. Okay, good. Summer sausage, cheese and crackers. Watch a movie. Huh? That nice. Sounds good. Carla's going to try to sew till 12.01. Okay. That sounds really good, too. Patsy's having Mexican food as well. Hockey game going on. Okay, good. Webinar from Salt. Okay. Nice. Tacos, burritos, enchiladas. May have to have a nap. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Welcome to the show. Happy New Year. This is the New Year's show. We won't be on again until January. What day is that? Like the third, maybe? Even a calendar right there. I'm digging into it now. January 4th. Sit at home, watch some TV. Yeah. FaceTime. Okay. Hi, Alicia. How are you? Yeah, I can't go party, like, you know. It takes too long to recover from that now. Salmon, taco soup and games. That sounds good, too. Watch the cheesy TV specials in the evening. Okay, good. Yep, that's right. 
was mixing myself up there for a second, but I'm good. Oh, Danella McAdams with So Studies having a virtual New York event. Nice. NYE event. Gotta watch the ball drop. New Year's Day. New Year's Eve. Eve, yeah. Nice taco soup. Here. Yeah, yum. That does sound good. April sewing. Seems like a great way to spend a New Year's Eve. It does, doesn't it? Okay. Relaxing, doing something that you love to do. Have a good meal. Sounds great. I like everybody's plans. Dude, you're good. Okay, last little bit. And then I'm going to iron it and bring it over so Robert can do an overview. <laughs> Tacos, okay, definitely. Yeah, you're probably not missing anything, not seeing the ball drop. Hi, Julie, how are you tonight? Happy New Year. Okay, let me do a quick press. Hi, Sam, how are you? Georgia, Happy New Year. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, that's a good point, Linda. I don't know if they're going to do the ball drop with all the COVID stuff going around, so who knows, right? <laughs> uh, we got one backwards chicken. Uh -huh. We got a wonky chicken. Uh -huh. That I'll chicken's going to have later. to go back in to the oven. <laughs> Looks great. Here we go. Potluck. Oh, nice. And fixed. <laughs> and you need a little seam allowance on that, and then you're back in business again. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Not sure what I did there. I'll have to go watch that. But oops. it's oops. live, folks. Anything can happen. And it does. Usually to me. <laughs> okay, we have all kinds of new stuff. Oh, how easy is it to unsew when you're using the seam line? That was a question. Well, I didn't use it on here. Um, and it's not bad. So even after you heat set it, you just peel it apart. It's not like a permanent glue. It's water soluble, so the first time you wash your quilt, it will come out. It's a great tool. Carol said she's sewing on that yacht she got for Christmas. <laughs> that yacht she got for Christmas. <laughs> nice. I want to come sew on the yacht. Um, Shall we do the color of the month? Um. Okay. So, oh, does the twenty five percent off work on the block fabric? Block no, fabric. it's a minimum of one yard cut. Or one yard cut for discount on fabric. So is that the um, I think that's what she's asking. Or he. Ruth, um, is that what you're asking about? Actual fabric yardage or the block of the month? No, or the block of the week. This kit is not 25% off. Okay. The cost for the kit was $6.15. New stuff. Okay. Okay, well, let's do the thread of the month. It is light brass. This is 2820. I got the big spool from the back because I didn't have one handy. So um, the regular size spools are 15% off for the month. And then if you're in the, oh, you didn't hand it to me upside down. The um, thread club, it's $20 to join this. And then you get 20% off of your all of your Aerofill thread purchases to fill this up. So... And these are on back order right now. Yeah, Nancy, I think the link's up just a little bit further. Um, for the You can go get the pattern and look at the fabric requirements. It's on the website. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, you may have to scroll up in the comments. Or Chloe will post another one. She's yep. probably got it in her cut and paste uh, or copy and paste. So let's start with the long armor Ruth people. Ruth cross stitch. Cool. Um. Bobbin savers for the M size bobbins. So, oh, it's about Bernina time. people, 
long arm people. These are eleven ninety nine. We only have them in the, the bright green, but these work great. So all of your bobbins just fit right in there. Bernina uses an M size bobbin, and don't worry, we haven't left you out for the L size too. Um, so what you do is say make it mine. Bobbin saver M class. I don't know why I have it backwards. <laughs> It feels backwards. Hi, Donna. It actually is backwards. Happy New Year. See, I had this one out earlier. Hello, Mrs. Cranford. Hopefully you're feeling better. Happy New Year. So, comment, make it mine, Bob and Saver M class. If you have not shopped with us before, go to quiltershq.com and register for Make It So. That gives us your information. We will email you an invoice. Let us know if you want to ship it or pick it up. And, um... If you want to pick it up, you can just pick it up and pay in the store. If we ship it to you, we'll send you an invoice through email where you can click and pay with PayPal or credit card. Hi, Mary. Happy New so, Year. That's those. These are cool. These will just... I'm, I'm all about organization. Anything that I can do to be more organized because there's just so much stuff when you're sewing. And you don't want to spend your time looking for it. Going, I know I have enough bobbin to finish that one. Well, then okay. you're not sewing. You're not sewing. You're, you're, you're looking. You're hunting. You're doing, what is it? Treasure hunt? No. Sew finder? No, where you go find, <laughs> you know, scavenger hunting in yeah, your sewing scavenger. room. <laughs> then, um, ooh, look what I found while I was looking. <laughs> um, sometimes it is fun and good to do that because yeah. you find treasure. Um, these are from the Magic Pins. These are long arm pins. So these are what you would use to pin your quilt to your leader fabric. These are 50 to a pack and they are $14.99. Comment, make it mine, long arm pins. Are the fabric requirements in, the, in there? For the whole quilt or just the partial quilt? Uh, that, that's a question for Nancy. Um, so anyway. the fabric requirements that are on here, these are for AccuQuilt. Okay. So if you are rotary cutting, you're going to cut yourself a two and a half inch strip. Yeah, I don't think they can see this one. Well, I'm just oh, okay. kind of pointing. So like this block is a two and a half inch square. You're going to cut a two and a half inch strip. These are um, five and a quarter by two and five eighths. So you'll cut a five and a quarter strip, cut it in two and five eighths, and then cut them half and diagonally. So, the fabric requirements on the block are for that block and AccuQuilt. And I should probably start putting that on there. So, long arm pins. This, we don't have one of these open. Is our hours different this week? Yeah, we close yeah. on Friday. We're closed on Saturday. We're closed Saturday for the holiday. And we're closed on Friday at 1? 2. 2? Two. 2. Yep. Says on all the websites. This is from Clover. This is a new stylus. I like this one because it has a little bit of a point that's curved. So they call it a curved awl, but it's you can use it to pick stitches. You can use it to hold your fabric in place when you're sewing. These are $17.99. Comment, make it mine. Curved awl. These, these are fun. These are Bob and Buddies. Hi, Darlene. Welcome. They're calling it a Bob and Boat. These are brand new. So instead of being round, they're just square or just, you know, rectangle. And they will fit, like, in your drawer. So you could stack Hi, them if you wanted. But I like these. So, um... They call it a bobbin boat. Really, they did. They printed it on the side. <laughs> <laughs> so, I really like these. I think they're kind of cool. Come in three colors. You have blue, turquoise, and green. Hi, Peggy. Welcome. Happy New Year. And they are $5.99 each. Comment, make it mine, bobbin boat. I mean, that's just kind of fun to say. Um, and the color, let us know whether you're going to ship it or pick it up. 
I hope everybody got gift cards for holidays. That way you can get what you really want. <laughs> I did. I was very appreciative. New puzzle. This is K-Facet's Fabulous Florals Quilt. These are... The dimensions are 29 and a half by 19 and 7 inches. 29 and 5 inches by 19 and 7 inches. No, 19.7, not 19 and 7 inches. That would be huge, 19 feet and 7 inches. You'd be forever working on that. Yeah. These are $25.99. It is 1,000 pieces. From, and this is K facet. That looks really challenging. It does look like a tough puzzle, but our viewers love a challenge, so and they're up to it. Hi, Mary. Happy you know New that Year. There are puzzle people out there. Oh, one of the things I was talking about last week that I had ordered these these came in. These are new. These are quilt block markers. They're eleven ninety nine. They're from the Gypsy Quilter, and they're just letters. I think I can get this one open. Yep, I can. So we can actually see it in action. So you can match up to your pattern piece. So you take your pieces, and this pin, there's a little hole in the side. The pin actually goes through. Okay, I'm making my F upside down here. And then you just pin it to your stack of pieces. And then it doesn't fall off. How well, cool that's is cool. That? Isn't that cool? Yeah. So those are new. They've had the numbers out, but now they have letters, which a lot of patterns, like even ours, have letters because they have a, B, and C, D, and it comes in a little heart-shaped box. Oh, cool. So you get storage with it. That's always convenient. And these are eleven ninety-nine. Comment, make it mine. Quilt block markers. And whether or not you want to ship or pick up. <laughs> Absolutely. So be careful what you spell. <laughs> <laughs> Pin those to the fridge. <laughs> you want to be have a, a clear signal. Okay, this one. This is a website organizer. The IT portion in Robert is just like spinning around in circles. But you're not going to take this out for you. You're going to leave it at home. Somewhere safe. Maybe if you have a <laughs> arrow sewing chair, you're going to put this under the chair. So you put your website, your username, password, and notes. So like, you know, when they ask you, what's your mother's maiden name? All of those things. So it's just a password keeper. Um, these are $9.95. Of course, you wouldn't have to write the password. Or you could do it in shorthand. You could do your, your you could do a clue. <laughs> or, please see my password safe. <laughs> please see my password safe. Yeah. So if you don't want to do a digital password safe... This one, um, you know, some password schemas that you could use is, you know, obviously don't use like, you know, your birthday or your mother's maiden name. So I definitely don't use those anyway. Definitely don't use in those anyway. And actually they are finding that the most secure passwords are a random set of words. Or not a really long phrase. Um, not, you know like take in a city like Kansas City and changing the S to a dollar sign. So, for example, um, what was the example they used? My horse ate my stapler. That can be your password. And because it's a nonsensical sentence, they, it's harder to guess. So, um Kansas City with an S for or a dollar sign for that it could take maybe four or five hours to unencrypt. This one would take like a year. So, horse ain't my stapler. That's an example. Don't use that one. I mean, snowshoes for tires. 
non just a nonsensical and that's a good password now and security is at an all-time high so if you want one of these comment make it mine password safe they're $9.99 let us know whether you want to ship or pick up I got all kinds of stuff fun stuff new I know. it's always good when the rep comes because he always brings all the new stuff this is a medallion sampler this is from Joanna Figurora. The quilt size is 72 and a half by 72 and a half. It uses solids, but you could use whatever fabric you wanted. And it is a true medallion quilt. So it's got this, I don't know what the name of this block is. Maybe she'll tell us. Different colorways for Halloween. And then there was one for Christmas. And then it just walks you through. These, if you have AccuQuilt, that is so easy to convert this stuff to um, AccuQuilt. So don't be afraid to buy a pattern like this and then just use your AccuQuilt to cut it out. That's what I would do. It is $20.99, comment make it mine, medallion sampler. And let us know whether you want to ship or pick up. These are, this is a dual function seam ripper, and it's retractable, and then when you retract it, you can use it for a snipper. Like when you're sewing the blocks together, you just slide your thread through here, this little slit right here, and cut your threads. I thought they were super cool. I might need one of these for myself. Retractable. So your, your blade here isn't going to get dull when you toss it in your drawer. Um, from Clover, $10.99, Comet Make It Mine Seam Ripper. And let us know whether you want to ship or pick up. This is the only color that they come in. Questions on anything so far? Not at the moment. Hi, Kitty. Welcome. Happy New Year. Okay. I was just doing a poll of some of the demos or topics they'd like to see in 2022 and then okay. making notes. So this is a new product. I think it's Amodex. Now let me grab another one so that you can see it too. And this is an ink and stain remover. It says it removes Sharpie, grass, crayon, ink, dye, paint, grease and oil, coffee and tea, wine and berries, chocolate, tomato, and blood, and much more. So I got this because, you know, we get spots on stuff. We bleed on quilts. We do all kinds of stuff. Um, it retails for $9.99. And comment, make it mine, stain remover, and let us know whether you want to ship or pick up. This is featured on Martha Stewart Living and Good American Good Morning America. Hmm. Non-toxic and eco-friendly. Made in the USA. Is All it? Right, cool. That's what it yeah. says. Even better. Safe to use on all fabrics, skin, surfaces, and even skin. Huh. That would have rescued... Oh, I can tell this story. My brother will never watch. <laughs> When he was in like sixth or fifth grade, he was really into rock and roll, and it was Halloween, and he wanted to be one of the Kiss characters for Halloween, and he literally took an ink pen and colored it in. I'm just sitting over in the corner, just you know, kind of snickering because I knew <laughs> that was going to be bad. It was really cool Halloween day, but, you know, after Halloween, when you want to take all of that off, ink does not come off the skin <laughs> at all. So, my mother was really kind of upset. <laughs> but that was my brother, my older brother. He could have used this. Cool stuff. It is very cool. So, 
have you to know, give it a try. We'll and several people try. wanted to get a bottle of that, so yeah. you'll have to let us know how uh, how that goes. Well, I'm going to try it out, too. Of course you are. Because I always get stains, like, right yeah. here. You know. Grease stuff, or something. Drops and. Mustard. Ketchup. Yeah. Mayonnaise. Oh, somebody's going to want these a lot. Um, these are bobbin toppers. And when I say bobbin, I mean aerofil, aerofil thread bobbins. And so there's two sides to this because you can... There's a fifth isocord as well. Isocord and... Glide and Hemingworth. Hemingworth. Yeah. The nice thing about this, if you're one of those people that winds a bobbin and then saves it, I don't. Um, I'd rather just unwind it and, you know, I don't save the bobbins. But these, you can put the bobbin right here and it will keep the bobbin with the um, spool. So cool. it is very cool. These are $14.99. Comment, make it mine. Bobbin topper. And there are eight of them in this pool. Or in this, not spool. I'm looking at thread and saying of spool. Package? Of this package. There's eight of them in here. White and green. This is the only colors they come in. But if they do a good job, I mean, this will keep you organized too. If you don't want to do the bobbin boats, mm. you want to keep it with your thread for all those people that are in the thread club, but with your aerofill thread or your isocord thread, there you go. And I think that was everything. We have a new ruler. This is the Alaska ruler. We have to make something with this because this is a very cool ruler. Lots of options with this one. So you can get squares, you can get, you know, diamonds. And of course they have this little barcode, not barcode. I think she covered it up. Um, there's a little, what do they call them, a little square? Uh, QR code. QR code that will take you straight to a video on how to use this ruler. This one is $32.99. Comment, make it mine. Alaska ruler. A chicken beak ruler. <laughs> yep, chicken beak. Alaska star quilt is beautiful. Oh, it's, it's stunning. And, you know, they give you a couple of ideas on here already. There's, I like this. I like this, like, stop sign kind of quilt on there that you can do with that. It's a great ruler to have. It's got the, you know, kind of unusual angles that you're not going to see on your your regular ruler. Like here. So, if we hold this up, it is 45 degrees. So, easier to do with this than with this. And then I think that was everything that was new. Did everybody get something that they like? We're still taking ideas for 2022 and I'm writing them down. So stuff you want to see. Got a few ideas that came along here. Yeah. What type of content do you like? That's a really nice one. And then the giveaway. The giveaway. So, most of you know, or if you don't know, we do quilting here at Quilters HQ, and we use Aerofill thread. So, I went How through the back. How much the ruler? How much? This? That one. The Alaska. The Alaska's $32.99. And we might actually demo this, too. She's building it in her head. I'm building it. I just, <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> So we have three giveaways tonight. Um, just This is just um, Aerofill thread that is too small for us to get a quilt out of, but plenty for your pleasure to piece or maybe do some lettering or whatever. Small projects. So we need three winners tonight. I 
All right, so we're getting some good content ideas here. More AccuQuilt ideas. Okay. Um, some tutorials on the different rulers with some of the degrees and angles. Yeah, you can do just about anything with this. We should have a ruler class like this. How to cut out hexes. You can do with this. It's easier. Specialty rulers, with yeah. With the specialty yeah, rulers. Yeah, so demos on how to use some of those specialty rulers. Yep. Okay. That came up again. That's a great idea. We've got bag and storage projects. New notions. I love that. Yeah. Uh, more machine embroidery. Okay. I'm writing all these down, so Joan will have a list of notes for content. Yeah, this show is about what you want to see, not what I want to sew. I can always find time to sew the things I want, so try to come up with uh, things for you to do, inspiration, you know, boat bobbin holders. How cool is that? Be sure and tell us what color you want to, blue, turquoise, or green. So our first, looks like a large Dresden, Judy Patterson. Uh, Judy, we go, we do this every Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Central Time. We do the show live, and you can always watch afterwards on YouTube. The YouTube channel is Joan Sews. It's all one word all together, so go to YouTube and in the search bar, just type Joan Sews. Our channel will pop up. And be sure and subscribe when you're there and hit the bell so you get notified when we publish new content. Because we are, once we move, we will have a studio. How many more of those do we have? More of what? Do we have some other bags? Only three. Ruler quilting was another one. Our first winner is Alicia Mueller. Alicia. Alicia, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Alicia. Yep, sorry about that. <laughs> but, yay! Airful thread. If you haven't tried it, you're, you're going to be hooked. What size bobbins for the boats? Um, the boats are L and um, 15. So, L size and class 15. So, like your Janomis, your Elmas, your brother, your Juki. So the smaller bobbins. This one, long arm size, Bernina's M size bobbin. If your Bernina takes the really large bobbin, these will work for that. Um, we actually don't know right now on move date or anything. They're still trying to build stuff. City still has the permits. Yeah. You know, they've got like the like it's a voter confirmation or something going on with them with a fine tooth comb. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, more content. I spent all day trying to organize my fat quarter stash. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> ruler quilting. That was the idea that I didn't want to miss and get that. Okay. Ruler. Yeah, I have a method for folding my fat quarters, and then I have these little plastic bins that I put them in. So it's like a quilt shop method for folding, so they're all tidy and tucked in. And that's like a two-minute demo. Oh, Sandman, we're just moving down the road. It's not that far. It's like nine minutes. Yeah. So that's not very far. But it will offer more cool stuff. Yes, and we will have a studio that we can be in yeah. to shoot these videos and videos that we can edit and not necessarily Do live more Zoom videos. classes. Yeah. I mean, a lot more things um, yeah. that we'll be set up to do. Um, the other winner was... We got one. We need two more. Uh, Patsy Wilkerson. Patsy, congratulations. Congratulations. Still waiting. Peggy said, I'm redoing my sewing room again. Husband is making cubbies. Oh, nice. 
Hello, Anton. How are you? I'll have to give you a tour of my sewing room sometime. We'll just go live and I'll show you. I have to clean it up first, so it might never happen. But, you know, it, no, could, it could happen. I do go on these cleaning fits where I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> it's just, let's just, I gotta have smooth, clean surfaces again. But, yeah, my sewing area looks a lot like this at home where it's, you know, it's got stuff all over. But, the chaos helps my creativity. And we definitely will do a, oh, a tour of your sewing room. Okay. So they would love a tour of that. Robert has a corner. Uh, By the Judy, <laughs> Judy Brennan said, oh, I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. And Patsy asked, do you organize by color? I do not. And there's a reason that I don't. Um, so, you know, the color wall is great, you know, to have all this stuff organized by color or theme. But sometimes when it's not organized by color, you can look at two pairs of fabric and go, I would have never put those together, but they look really good together. And so that's why I don't organize by color. And that would just take me too much time. So I'm trying to pare down my fabric. I am going to try this year to stick to the, if I make a quilt, I use something out of my stash. There have been some fabrics come in that, you know, I had to have. So I did add to my stash a little bit, but you know, one of my new year's resolutions was to sew more. So I'm trying to do that as well. Last winter. Um, so, Ruth got the floor vacuumed, she said. Oh. You can see your floor? <laughs> That's a major achievement. <laughs> yeah, you said she started by color, but I want to put it back by brands. No, I don't do any kind of sorting like that. Um, the only thing I do that might be considered like a sort is like I have... Like when I buy fabric, I'll buy like three yards because that works for the size of quilts that I make. So I'll keep those together, all the three yard pieces, just so I know how much is in there. And then like the smaller pieces, I'll keep in a separate stack. All right. Don't tour my sewing room, too many stacks. <laughs> I have a lot of stacks. Judy Brennan says she sorts some by color, some by collections, and others by 30s. 30s. Thimbleberries, etc. Yep. Okay, Ruth likes to keep the seasons together. Okay, yeah. cool. I do kind of have my reproduction fabrics together. So I do have that kind of pulled off and not completely. There's some that could pass for reproduction in with the rest of the stuff, and that's okay. I run out and then can't remember where I bought it. <laughs> that happens a lot, I'm sure. That happens a lot, but as long as you keep the salvage of your fabric, you can see who it is. I don't know if this piece is big enough, but nope, it's not. Nothing on here. Let's see one of the others. Oh, jackpot. So put backing separate in yardage and small pieces. Yes, I do Pete. I do keep those there separate. But this will tell you who it is, Moda, and if you have the color number, 1660, you can find it. Scrap baskets. Last winter was Kathy. Kathy. Leader. Kathy Leader. Congratulations. congratulations. All three of those are gone. So congratulations to everybody that won. Mm. And if you we'll have some not, more of those, we like this giveaway. Yeah, I do like giving away the, th the thread. I mean, it's too small for us to use, and it's just taking up space on the shelf in the in the quilting studio. So Lisa will come in, or no salvage on batiks drives me nuts. Um, yeah, <laughs> those are That's hard to match too, because a lot of batiks have similar patterns, and that would drive me nuts. Buy extra. Just yeah. buy more than you need. You can use it for something else. Okay. 
Okay. Well, everyone, you know, Happy New Year. Have a great and safe New Year. Enjoy the day. Say goodbye so, to 2020, 2021. 2021. Adios, amigos. Time to go. <laughs> You're out of here. Hope for good things for 2022. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Stuff right around the corner all the time. Right in your now. Yeah, right now. All right, everyone. Be safe and enjoy all your Mexican food. We're making tacos. We're making tacos. I've noted all the ideas. If you guys come up with some more ideas, please post them on content stuff, and I will keep this list for Joan, and so we can come up with some new stuff for 2022. Yeah. It'll be great. All right. Somebody's moving their sewing room. Oh, boy, that's a chore, I'll bet. <gasps> we did that. We have to move a whole store. Movers. <laughs> we did that. We put carpet in my sewing room. It was the polished concrete. But we I do love all of you and thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe. See you soon. See you next week. Remember to change your needle. Good night.